Here we go. Comet Drive-In. Here's our flea market. It looks really small, but maybe, maybe it's not. The plan today is to hit up two flea markets, one here in Connellsville at this drive-in movie theater called Comet Drive-In, and then another one that we went to last week. I want to go back and buy some stuff at that one baseball card dealer in Periopolis. So let's see what they have here. It only costs $16 to sell here. Doesn't seem too bad. You get a pole to pole space. That head baseball. Five four dollars. You want to buy some? Or twenty dollars for the whole book. Okay. That would make a nice monster wall to hit it over. That thing's probably like forty-five feet high. I feel like these G.I. Joes might be worth something. <laughs> How much is the Nintendo? The Nintendo is 35. 35? It works good. I got a video to show and everything. At least we got a couple things. I think the weather kind of drove away a lot of vendors. The G.I. Joe box was probably the best thing, but some guy came and grabbed it before I had a chance to look up what they're worth on eBay. Indoor flea market starts at 9 a.m., so we still have 10 minutes. I texted my brother about those G.I. Joes. He said I might have been able to get $10 a piece for those, maybe more if there was accessories. He suggested we come five minutes down the road to Laurel Mall. There's an indoor flea market here, and he said there is a guy with a baseball shop. There's some pirate stuff over here. Some bonds. It's like this is half off, five bucks. Where? Right there. He's talking to you. The robot is a ride? Mm -hmm. What's he do? Like grab you and throw you up in the air? Alright, we got one more flea market to run to. This is the last stop today. How much are these packs? 50 cents. 50 cents. Oh, yeah, you won't believe that. 2003. What about the uh, top set? Uh, that's a good pen on that one. Three bucks for the game. How much is the box? Uh, you have to ask him. In the box of uh, Bowman? Five bucks. Five bucks. Uh, would you do the Bowman and maybe three packs of these for six? That's fine. Okay. Uh, yes, please. Nineteen ninety four All Star. Don't touch. How much is the baseball? Three bucks. 
Nothing's creepy looking. It's a ton of baseball bats, huh? Don't touch. Got a lot of cards here. Don't matter. Anyway. How much is a uh, Don Ross box? Did you do three of them for maybe 105? Yeah. Okay. That's 35, right? 105. Thank you. Uh, yes, please. Who's that, buddy? Thank you. All right, man. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. See you later. You must have spent too much money with Mark. Yeah. There's all kinds of sports memorabilia and stuff in there. Okay. I only brought a little bit of shit. Okay. Grab two of these. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have enough space on this one. Um, just, just looking right now. How much are these? Um, the Pure Lop, I do 20, and the Meiji, uh, 30. Okay. How much are the bobbleheads? I'll take them. Yeah. It's one. Let's have another one. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, we have an old one like that. We said ten for this.
Thank you. Okay, here's pretty much most of the stuff that I got at the flea market. Uh, I don't know if I should open these up or not. I think there's three guaranteed hits per box in 2015 Don Ross. Uh, so that might be its own separate video. I got three boxes of them. Um, this Nate McCloud bobblehead I got for a dollar. I remember when they gave this out back in 2009. Um, that was a pretty good deal. I also got a couple starting lineups. The Gary Sheffield and also a Albert Bell from 94. This box of Bowman was only five bucks, which is, that's a really great deal for 36 packs. Maybe we'll open up a couple of those packs right now, see if we can find the Griffey Rookie. This 83 Tops was my favorite find, I think. Uh, 10 bucks for this whole set. Daryl Strawberry and Julio Franco are the two best rookie cards in there. Uh, we're gonna check out the condition, make sure they're good. If, if the Strawberry is really nice condition, I might, I might be able to send that away to PSA and maybe get it graded. And then some packs of 2003 Tops. We'll open those up too. Okay, I'm a little worried about this 83 Tops set because I'm not sure if the strawberry is in here. I asked the guy if it was the complete set or if they had been taken apart. I just kind of peeked inside. The corners looked pretty sharp. Uh, looked like most of the cards were there. I didn't take them out though because that would be doing a bit too much. So I just want to take a look real quick and make sure that the strawberry is in here. Um, I'm hoping this is the whole set. These sell for usually like 35 to 40 bucks on eBay. And this, these are some really sharp cards. They are in perfect condition. It's like they've never been removed from the box. So I'm doing my best not to ruin uh, this, especially if I'm gonna send these off to get graded. Take a look at the back of these. These are perfect condition. I just wanna find the strawberry Make sure the strawberries in here. There's Julio Franco rookie card. Uh, this is the first time I've ever owned this card. Look at those sharp corners. That is nice. That is a perfect 1983 Topps card. Joe Morgan, Hall of Famer right there. Where is Strawberry? Tony Perez, another Hall of Famer. Played until he was 44 years old. Tom Seaver, another Hall of Fame pitcher. There it is, Daryl Strawberry. Let's take a look at this card and make sure it's perfect. That is a nice looking card. This book's for $25 in Beckett. It probably sells in this condition for maybe around there. I'm not really sure, but Daryl Strawberry was on track to be one of the Great players, had a really great career early on and then kind of fizzled out a little bit. Still had a solid major league career, though. He got sidetracked by some off-the-field issues. Should probably sleeve that strawberry instead of putting it back in here, but... Why don't we open up a couple packs just real quick to finish off the video. These I got for 33 cents a piece. Three of these for a dollar. The best cards in here that you can get. Um, Kevin Euclid's rookie card, uh, Cliff Lee rookie card, CJ Wilson rookie card, and these are sticking together really bad. Look at this. These are just, they're stuck. Okay, now I know why they were so cheap. Let's see if I can peel them apart without ruining them. Uh, you hear that? Greg Maddox, there's some paper loss. This stinks. Oh man. Wow, this is a good pack. Greg Maddox, Frank Thomas. So we already have uh, three Hall of Famers or potential Hall of Famers off the bat. Walker, Thomas, Maddox. Walker will probably get in within the next year or two. Hideo Nomo. If you are careful with these, you can get them apart without ruining them. Lance Berkman has an outside shot at a Hall of Fame bid. Derek Lowe. Adam LaRoche, rookie card. Bernie Castro. Joel Skinner, that card looks like it has some damage. CJ Wilson, rookie card. Has some paper loss damage, unfortunately. That was worth a couple bucks in Beckett. Probably sells for maybe a buck on eBay. 
pack number two. Uh, also sticking together, Luis Rivas, Brent Abernathy. We have an insert in this one. Let's see who it is. Some of these cards are going to have to go into my laundry basket. I have a laundry basket filled with cards that are ruined. This is Record Breakers. George Brett, when he hit 390 in 1980. Um, don't know if that's worth anything or not. That is really a shame these are sticking together. Sometimes when they're sticking together, I just go like that and crack them. Hear that cracking, and then they come apart. But then when you do that, you cause severe paper loss. Like look at Dusty Baker, all that paper loss. So you gotta try to peel them apart as gently as possible. And you have to do it one by one to save the cards. And it's really quite annoying. All right, last pack. Again, peeling them off one by one. Uh, this one's, this is a lost cause. Another insert, Mike Piazza Hobby Masters. Um, I don't think cards were really numbered back then. Our Pujols lead, League Leader card was in there. Jose Vidro. All right, well, most of those cards I'm going to have to throw in the trash because of the paper loss. Why don't we do, uh, how about three packs of 89 Bowman real quick just to finish things off. Make sure these are good quality. Whenever I get a box, I like to open up a couple packs just to make sure the box is okay and the cards aren't ruined or anything like that. Sometimes the cards will smell like a basement. Sometimes the corners will be ruined. Um, you can usually tell by the smell of the cards um, if they've been well cared for over the years. These do not have a bad smell to them. So I don't like this set because the cards were oversized. There's Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer. Um, these were put in every pack. There's like maybe like 10 of these. They're reprint cards. I don't like how the cards were oversized. They just never fit into top loaders or hard sheets very well for me. So I was never a big fan of 89 Bowman. I was glad that this was the only year that they did this with these oversized cards. Uh, there's a now, Roberto Alomar, Burt Blylevin, he's in the Hall of Fame. Nobody else very good there. Griffey's the best one. And this is the last pack I'm doing because the rest of these packs I'm going to sell on eBay. I put them in lots. I sell pack lots on there. Um, Carvkin Jr., that's a pretty decent one. Hall of Famer, one of the best ever. A uh, hundred card pack lot, which is seven packs for like six ninety nine. Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. So no Griffey, but it's always fun to open up a pack or two here and there. Right, I'll stop this video right there. Let me know how you think I did at the flea market. Did I get ripped off? Did I get a good deal? Now, obviously, those 2003 tops were disappointing. I'm really looking forward to opening these up at some point, though. Um... And also, the 83 Tops Creator, I felt, was the best buy that I had on the day. Let me know what you think. See you later. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget, there's about a week left to win this 2018 Tops Factory Sealed Set. All you have to do is comment in my videos. Each comment is an entry. So anytime you comment on any video from September, you're entered. I will choose a finalist for each video. And we might have maybe like 20 some finalists depending on how many videos I upload in September and one of you will be the ultimate winner.